Today our topic is the Pythagorean Theorem. So our essential question, how can I use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the distance between two points? Vocabulary. So right here we have pictured a right triangle. So right there in the middle you're going to put right triangle. And a, triang a right triangle is a triangle with a right angle. So if you look here, this little square in the corner tells you that it's a right angle, which is a 90 degree angle. Pieces of a right triangle, we have our leg A and our leg B. And those are the sides that are next to the right angle. So if you look, these sides touch the right angle. We have leg A on the right angle and leg B on the right angle. And then our third side we call the hypotenuse, which is side C, and that is across from the right angle, so it does not touch the right angle at all. That's our third side. The Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if we look leg A and leg B, A squared and B squared equals C squared, your hypotenuse squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. That's what we're going to be working with today. Here we have a nice little visual of the Pythagorean theorem. So if we look, we have our right triangle right here. And we have squares on either side of each leg. So here we would have A squared because that would be this area of that square. Here we would have B squared because that would be the area of that square. And here we have C squared. So we're going to show that this area that's colored in right now, this C squared area, can fill up this square and that square. So you watch as the blue piece is filling up A squared. And then the orange piece is filling up B squared. So then A squared, this blue piece, plus B squared, this orange piece, equals C squared, the blue and orange combined. Practice. Find the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle. The hypotenuse, remember, is side C. So we have A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have leg A would be 3, so we say 3 squared plus b squared, so 4, 4 squared equals c squared. We don't know what c is, so we leave it as c squared. 3 squared, remember that's 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16, equals c squared. 9 plus 16 is 25, so we have 25 equals c squared. So now we're back to solving a quadratic equation. We have c squared equals 25. So to solve for c, we have to take the square root of both sides. Square root of c squared is c. Square root of 25 is 5. So c, the length of the hypotenuse, is 5. Next example, we have find the length of the unknown leg of the triangle. So if we look, we have our right triangle right here. A, we don't know, so we just have A squared. Plus B squared, well B is 6, so instead of B we put 6 squared. Equals C squared, so 7 squared. A squared stays A squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6, so 36 equals 7 squared. 7 squared is 7 times 7, which is 49. Minus 36 on both sides to get a squared by itself. We get a squared equals 49 minus 36 is 13. We're solving a quadratic because we have that square. So to undo that square, we take the square root of both sides. 
square root of a squared is a equals the square root of 13. It's not a perfect square, so I am just going to leave that as the square root of 13. Next example, using the given image, find the height of the third story window. We look, we've got this ladder here, and we're told that the ladder is 50 feet. We know that the distance from the building to the ladder is 35 feet. We do not know the height of the building. So if we look, that's the height. However, if we look closely, we know we have this awesome right angle, which means we have a right triangle, which means we can use the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are the legs. They're the sides that touch the right angle. So this side, our red side, touches the right angle. So we can say A would be H squared. Call that side A. And then the green side also touches the right angle. You see right there? So we can call 35 side B. So we would do plus 35 squared. And then the side that's across from the right angle, your longest side is your hypotenuse C. So equals C squared, which is 50 squared. Now we just need to evaluate and solve for h. We have h squared plus 35 squared. Well, 35 squared would be 35 times 35. Evaluate 35 times 35 and we get 1225 equals 50 squared. So that would be 50 times 50, which is 2500. Get h squared by itself, so we want to undo this addition with subtraction. We want to minus 1225 from both sides. We're left with h squared equals 1275. 2500 minus 1225 is 1275. Then we have a quadratic equation, h squared. To undo that square, we take the square root of both sides. Square root of h squared leaves us with h equals the square root of 1275 is a decimal, but in our situation, we don't want to leave it as the square root of 1275 because that doesn't really help us understand what the height of this building is. However, if we get that decimal approximation, that helps us better understand the height. And our decimal approximation is 35.7. So then we would know that the height right here, this part, is almost the same as the distance away from the ladder, which is 35.7. If we wanted to be really specific, we would want to put feet at the end. All right, that's all the notes that I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.